here we are at our parking lot to Sudbury Reservoir in Southborough. Trail looming up ahead. A list of the do's and don'ts. It's a public reserve water supply. So they have a bunch of things they don't want you to do. And we weren't planning on doing them anyway. <laughs> and this just follows the lake. It's a pleasant old fire road of some kind. Chipmunk Greeting Committee is already up and at it. I'm not, I think bicycles are allowed through here, but I'm not sure. Check at your DCR website. So we've rounded the bend and the parking lot and the way north to Newburyport lies there. We're kind of in the Marlboro Southboro zone. <laughs> Interesting week in which I've hit each corner of the trail. Getting lost in Raleigh on Monday, poking around Walpole on Wednesday, and now in the West Voila, Southborough for our Friday. And what's that? Oh, that's just a little Parmenter Street parking lot. Indicator sign, a tenth of a mile we've gone. Ooh. No, I think that's just a, a little side thing. There is no bike here. Yeah. Oh, they, it's because they were tore off. Look. <laughs> there, you can see the remains of an offset right there. But I don't know. Here. I think, oh yeah, you're right, there, there it is. Huh. I wonder what we do with that. Kind of an overcast day, which is perfect for this sort of place anyway. It's a old, grove of fairly tall trees so it's kind of nice not being blasted by the sun where's chippy <laughs> down in there somewhere They always sound kind of indignant. We're off. 
And as you can see, it's a nice simple straightaway. It's a quiet Friday. Haven't even run into our first jogger yet. This would be your cross country ski destination. Come winter. There's a big old rotting shroom. Uh oh. Blue Jay sounding the alarm. That's our way north to Newberry Port. And this is our way south to Duxbury Land. We're down in the Southboro Marlboro trail segment along the Sudbury Reservoir. Put together around 1878 to provide water for a thirsty Boston when it recovered from its various hangovers. But it wasn't enough. Eventually the Quabbin had to be created. Still in all, this is an interesting bit of late 19th century infrastructure work. All these trees lining the road were planted a long time ago we reckon time. Yeah, that's planted. And the pine, when it, the, these smaller pine trees won't survive the shade of their parents. <clears throat> so eventually something else will replace them. Like that's a strange, kind of little oak right there and that's some beach. The most of the successful understory trees are deciduous. And it's another basic straight as an arrow little run. We were discussing the Eminent suitability for snow stuff, snowshoeing and cross-country skiing. This may well be one of the better spots around. And it's the sort of thing they do encourage. And that's our way north, a nice straightaway. It takes you up to the Parmenter Street parking lot and all the way to Plum Island someday. And this is our way south. And will take us to a little McMansion neighborhood that really doesn't want you parking anywhere near it. So we decided we wouldn't after our prior scouting adventure. So this will be another Long straight run. It looks like they had surveyors just, you know, make a periodic turns and then just do straight arrowhead runs. There's not a lot of the old Yankee cart road curvy stuff.
up in a blaze, I see. First one in a while. structure for this thing. 